Hello friends, this is Harvey Mundan. Welcome to Samsung Wave News. It's been a slow two weeks in the world of Bada. Um, not much uh, happening in the way of uh, applications or uh, no firmware upgrades. Uh, we're still waiting for the official release of 1.2. Um, in the App Store at the moment there are about 1,400 apps, that's in the UK store. Um, but you have to remember that about 180 of those are themes um, and probably another 200 are apps that make fart noises or something like that. Um, of those themes, um, 130 odd are from a company or developer called Eskin who seems to think you can make a new theme simply by changing the wallpaper and the tab colour um, and use the same icons that you've used for the last 50 skins and then stick that in the App Store um, which I think is uh, spamming of the App Store. Um, skin disease if you like. Um, much, much better themes are being produced by uh, users of the phone and posted in the forums free. Um, I've made this uh, theme myself by stealing uh, the good work of uh, others. Um, the icons here are fantastic icons. They come from a theme call, uh, called Katjusha Demo. Uh, you can see they've been really nicely done. A glass effect very colourful to make good use of the uh, Super AMOLED screen. The tabs um, I've taken from a theme called Elegance, another really good theme. Again, um, you can see there's a really nice effect on those uh, tabs there. And I've put uh, my own wallpaper and I've taken a battery icon from um, another theme as well. And I've put that all together and um, I call this HM Combo theme um, which I'll be posting on the forums uh, shortly if you're interested in that. Um, the widgets, I've uh, modified um, a standard Simply Weather widget, taken away some information I don't need, made it more compact. Um, this is a Financial Times ticker. Um, I've taken just the kind of ugly background away, change the text, you still go through to the uh, standard Financial Times widget. Um, Samsung, I believe, aren't very um, thoughtful in designing their widgets, um, especially these kind of Financial Times and you see the BBC widget. Um, this is an excellent example. We have two huge buttons uh, which you don't really need. They take up 80% of the widget and uh, in the tiny, tiny portion at the bottom you have this minute text uh, which is the thing that you want to see really. Um, the size is too big for the screen. You can't fit uh, two of those widgets on one screen. Really little thought has gone into the design. One new widget that has come out, uh, again, poor design in my opinion, is this Samsung Music widget. Um, just click takes you through a kind of chart where you can, if you like, go through to the WAP, UK WAP site, and simply purchase the song. Doesn't seem to be much more to it than that, really you got the latest tracks and uh, not much else going on with that widget. Uh, one new app which has come in the last uh, two or three days of significance is an app, uh, the first Twitter application uh, for Badder especially. It's called Tweet Badder. Um, I've been using it for the last couple of days and it's a very, very crash-happy app, it seems. One thing that's uh, really annoying is whenever you enter it, you log in, it takes you back to the same screen uh, as when I first registered. This tweet here is over three days, three days old. Um, I've refreshed it a number of times since then, but every time you come back, it just goes to the that same point and you have to refresh it one more time so it's up to date. Um, 
You can favourite tweets quite easily by swiping and favourite and that will go into your favourites which takes a bit of time to refresh. Uh, you have mentions, direct messages and uh, the extensions here. You can tweet um, a set, a time and date for tweets and very importantly you have multiple Twitter accounts. The only problem is every time I try to set one of these up um, it goes through the setup process, authorizes it, completes, returns to the app and then crashes out of the app like it does there. Um, okay I'm running this on um, Bada 1.2 which is uh, not officially released yet so of course there might be some problems with that but you would have thought they would have tested it on this uh, release which is going to come out in the next month or two. As you see we're straight back to the uh, the tweet which is three days old. Once again you have to uh, refresh. Uh, every time you refresh of course you're using up data. Um, tweet here you have uh, shortened URLs, very useful of course, and you can tweet pics which is another really useful function. So um, I'm hoping it's just a problem with um, the 1.2 conflict which will be solved because it would be a, a very nice app um, but at the moment it's just too crash happy. Um, one app um, I'll show you which is a Java app uh, which um, I think is a fantastic app is Foliant ebook reader. Um, there is an ebook reader in the App Store at the moment, it's called LacViet, um, but it doesn't have text reflow uh, and you, you cannot read an ebook without text reflow, um, it's completely useless. So this is a Java app but it's not the usual kind of ugly, awkward Java app, it is uh, very, very good. Um, you can go straight into the last book that you read. It automatically bookmark, bookmarks the uh, book where you left off. So you can just go straight back into that. And here I've set it to uh, a very small, the smallest text. Um, and that can be changed easily. Um, you can swipe across like this. Or you can change by let's say uh, up and down by simply tapping parts of the screen um, side to side once again you just tap to move forward and back um, you can change the profile, you can set up uh, any number of profiles. I've just set up a kind of night profile, bigger text, um, bigger margins, and of course the white on black. And very, very surprisingly, for a Java app, you do have automatic orientation. A very, very impressive app. Uh, Foliant it's called, it's a free Java app. Um, you can download that from uh, the forums, it's been posted across most of the forums. Uh, it does read in only text or FB2 format, so if you have for example uh, EPUB books you'll have to get some uh, a free conversion program like Calibre to convert it but that's really no problem and uh, once again I'd say that's a very impressive app. Um, in the next month we might see um, the stop of production of the wave so this if you're still thinking of getting this this might be um, the last chance uh, you can get a wave with a super AMOLED screen. Um, to sum up the, uh, the last few months of badder development, um, I would say um, it has been going on the whole very nicely. Um, some people are 
getting irritated by the lack of useful apps in the App Store. Um, it has been slow. Um, and it is, of course, rather annoying that the new Wave phones, which have different resolution screens, um, don't, um, you can't use the apps or the widgets um, on this phone, uh, which seems very strange indeed. Um, the only uh, negative I would uh, have to uh, emphasize is the stock browser, which is uh, Dolphin. Uh, it hasn't improved. Um, for some reason, it doesn't even want to, to start there. Um, it hasn't improved since uh, the first iteration, it seems, of the browser. Um, the main thing being um, text reflow problems and the fact that it keeps giving uh, page to large warnings, which um, I'm not sure how they, how they come. Um, if we just uh, take an example, we can, we can zoom. We uh, would expect some kind of text problem. Um, we'll see if the text reflow works. It's not particularly fast either, I would say. Um, this is a 3G network, but a slow 3G network, so... Um, okay, let's... Now, that's text reflowed, but that is... You need a magnifying glass or a microscope to read that, so really not very useful. Pinch to zoom, no text reflow, useless. Change orientation. It reflows, and that's just about readable, I would say. Um, so, it's got a lot of work to do there, and it's not very stable, so I don't like using that. Um, I'll just show you um, UC Browser, which um, is a Java browser, um, but it's stable. Uh, it never has any problems with memory. Sometimes it takes a little while to start up. I don't know why it's updating the data there. Um, the good thing about this is you can use this just like you would your desktop uh, browser like Firefox or something like that um, with tabs. You can start in the uh, this small, small mode or you can uh, start in a zoom mode, uh, text reflows great, works perfectly. You can long click on a link and open in the background. This opens a new tab at the top. Um, you can barely see this. Um, you can, in preferences, set the tabs to a bigger height. Um, open a new tab three tabs at the top there, the one in green still loading. I can click the, uh, the middle one while I'm waiting. can click on that, reflow straight to the paragraph, click back to the original page. Um, this is skinnable. Um, I can use swipe um, swipe left and right to go back to the previous page um, switch quite easily from uh, zoom to full page um, you can't use this in landscape mode there's one drawback but it's a very nice browser indeed one last thing I'll show you uh, is another app from the App Store. Um, this is called B Banner, and it's just a fun app. It allows you to write things in large texts and send messages to people like this. Thank you.